We are back now, and I am here with Rebecca, the community manager for Warframe. How are you doing today, Rebecca? I'm good. How are you? It's good to be here. Boom. I am doing wonderful. It has been an amazing event so far. Oh, yeah. And we're about to jump into Warframe. So what exactly is Warframe? Warframe is a co-op shooter. It's basically ninjas in space. You and your buddies team up with your sword, your gun, your power suit, and you're going to kill all the enemies you can to be the best space ninja you can be. I, anything that you can be the base, best space ninja you can be just immediately draws me into the game. It's I'm true. sold. I'm done. Done. So you guys are already out for a couple of platforms right now. That's you guys right. are out for PC and PS4, and it's Xbox One's right around the corner, right? It's next week, September 2nd. Ooh. On, yeah, it's happening very soon. Things are going a little indie studio in Canada coming out on all these platforms. So we're super happy, and you can play it on Xbox on Tuesday. Awesome. Very cool. So look for it then. You guys can download it on Tuesday. Now, what exactly are our competitors going to be playing today? All right. Well, today they're playing a defense mission, which is essentially hordes of enemies come and you are defending that one objective. And every one playing today is Rhino, our tank class. You saw him in the trailer. He's that big dude with his axe and his hammer. Sweet. Yes. And what they're doing is they're going to see who can get the most kills in the ten or the five waves that they're playing. So defend that objective, shoot those enemies, whoever kills most. All right, there you go. We're actually going to have three rounds of competition. All of our players will be playing on every combination of teams possible. That's even right. though, just like Gauntlet, even though they're teamed up together, they're still competing for the they highest are. individual that's, score, though. So a little bit right. of backstabbing action might happen. That's right. I hope to see a lot of headshots. And it is a co-op game, like you said. So Sweet. Yes. Well, we are super pumped, and we are ready to get started. So, guys, let's go ahead and launch into the game right now. And of course, our players will get set. You'll see a little bit of action there as they start to run up to the defense points that they are going to capture. Um, now, they are going to face five waves of increasing difficulty as well, you correct? Got, you got it. All right. So what sort of tips and tricks will these guys be able to use to help them through this mission? All right. Well, you all, all Rhino, so you guys... Use that number two power iron skin to keep yourself immune from damage and don't leave that pod because they will sneak up and shoot it. So you need to be there, shoot them in the head. All right, well, there you go. There you have it. And we're going to jump into the game right now. So thank you very much, Rebecca. We see our competitors getting started there once again. Representative from Team Scoots in the top left hand corner, Team Trolls in the bottom left hand corner, Team Zerodactyls in the bottom right, and that was. Uh, team back at the top right. So there we have it. We're going to get things started now. As you can see, Scoots is guiding his team member there. Um, so we are playing two at a time on a team. And you see team in there is in quotes. So our players will actually advance up to the front, work cooperatively to defeat the five waves, but they are competing individually for score here. This is actually just by kills. So the highest number of kills at the end of three matches for one individual player will send them into the finals. Now, if you guys don't know, Scoots has already won two of these in a row. And he's pretty good at shooters. It's kind of his thing. And we're playing a PC shooter right now, so you've got to imagine that he's got some tips in store for his teammate there. And a very nice job by his teammate, as a matter of fact, to snag a couple of early kills. Now, the objective here is that they are trying to defend that object there in the middle that you see. The enemies, the Grenier that will come up, will not just attack the players, but their primary objective is actually to attack that device. The device's health is in the top left-hand corner of the game screen there, as you can see. Once that actually falls to zero, you are eliminated, and the, uh, the, the rounds will be over. Now, of course, you will still retain as many kills as you got during that particular match, uh, but you may be at a bit of disadvantage if the other teams can actually take out the waves. So here we are, we're taking a look there. At, uh, at Team Mecha's combatant as he runs up there. Now, as Rebecca was mentioning, in the lower right-hand corner of the game screen, you can see a little progress bar there. That is the amount of energy that you actually collect over the course of the game. Continue to collect energy, and you will eventually unlock those powers that you see down at the bottom right. Now, as these competitors are playing the Rhino, as Rebecca mentioned, you really want to use that second ability, which is called Iron Skin. That's going to really beef you up and put it as she described, put your character into god mode. And you'll be able to advance out there and start taking out large groups of enemies. Now, I was playing this yesterday as well. I did it solo, but uh, I was able to successfully make it through the five waves. Um, large part by using melee, which is actually something you'll see here. This game is very parkour, kind of movement-based, run up, uh, duck around walls, and try and get your opponent yeah, to just melee them knife, right in the face. Knife, knife. Um, but also, hard, hard, hard. using that last power that you have at your disposal. That fourth power takes the most energy to be able to activate, but once you do, you punch the ground underneath you and send a huge shockwave out uh, and destroys all enemies around you. It takes a lot of energy, but it's very effective. Now, their first energy ability that they have actually allows them to sprint 
forward and take out any enemies that are in the way. So, a lot of very cool stuff that they can pull off if they utilize those uh, spells efficiently. And that's something you're going to have to do because as you're maximizing kills, and as these subsequent rounds go on, there's more and more enemies to try and go after. So you really want to wait for the optimal time to use those big old ultimate energy powers and kill a lot of enemies at the same time. All right, so as you can see, Team Scoots in the upper left-hand corner, Team Trolls in the upper right-hand corner, Team Zeradactyls down in the bottom left, Team Mecha down in the bottom right. And look at that! Team Zeradactyl's getting in there with some melee. I love this. He is playing ham right now and just running after the Grenier. And to be honest, I think you have to do that. When I was playing this yesterday, I noticed that your character had a lot of health, um, a pretty extreme amount of health. So I, in my mind at least, the optimal tactic is to get out there and just try and jump in as much as possible into the middle of enemies. Now you will run low on ammo, so you do have to be good about which guns you're using and ensure that you're using melee attacks so you don't just run low on all of your ammo. And it looks like our teams are already through a few waves here. Straight ahead, yep. Nice, nice, and nice. in between oh, each set, we are right, actually going down. to take just a few seconds to get things reset, and we'll update with a leaderboard of the current kills. Nice. As we mentioned before, Team Scoots has actually right. taken two of there. two elimination challenges so far. They're trying to make it a perfect three right now on the nice, PC nice, Shooter nice. Warframe. Uh, you can imagine that everyone else from Team Trolls, Team Zeradactyl, and Team Mecha is coming back to try and take these guys down. All right. Now, as we mentioned before, there are actually going to be three rounds. So we have this one in progress right now. Then we will shuffle the teams, and they will start again. And we will re-add up their kills after the next subsequent you, rounds. Once every player has been paired with every other player, that uh, will take three rounds, and we will tally up the score. So there we have it. Our first round is complete. We're going to have some... We are going to have a tally of those kills here in just a second, but right, a very nice, round. efficient, clean kill there uh, for our team. So we'll get that updated for you here in just a moment. We are going to be reshuffling the teams, though, and okay. jumping right back into this. And we'll get that here in just a okay. second. And we'll also have Anna join us up here in just a bit to help me nice. with the commentary. Yep, now, Warframe, of course, as we mentioned before, is currently available awesome. for the PC and PS4. Awesome. Uh, I, myself, have been playing it on my PS4 quite a bit. It is a super fun game, and I highly recommend you guys check it out. It is a free-to-play game as well, and as we were talking to the developers yesterday, they love the fact that this game, you can accomplish everything in it just by playing the game itself. You don't have to go out there and spend a huge amount of money to be able to get new characters and things like that. Simple quests and pickups will allow you to unlock everything in the game. So a very fun and rewarding Stairs, system think, on stairs. top of that. Of course, the game is coming out to Xbox One on Tuesday. You will be able to download it and play it for free there. So we're just gathering the scores up right now. We'll jump into that here in just a second. And uh, like I mentioned before, if Anna wants to join me for commentary, then we will certainly do that here in just a second. She looks excited, but she doesn't have a microphone. So we'll try something else later. All right, guys. So as we mentioned before, everyone has an individual hashtag for this event. And if you want to voice your support for one of the teams, then get out there on Twitter and hashtag them right now. Steve Zaragoza's team is under Team Zeradactyls, hashtag Team Zeradactyls. Lindley's team is hashtag Team Mecha. Scott's team is hashtag Team Scoots. And uh, Siren's team is hashtag Team... Oh, geez, I just lost it. Now I feel like a jerk. Anyway, guys, we'll get to that here in just a second as we will add up those scores uh, momentarily. So... Warframe has been a very fun experience, and the cool part about it, too, is when you're actually online, you randomly get paired with people that are all the way across the world. So you'll jump into the middle of a fight. You think it might be a solo adventure. No, you're going to get a squad of teammates from across the world. It's really cool and innovative way to split up the missions. I'm super excited to get back into it once I get back home, too. So um, momentarily, as soon as we have it available, we will show the scores up on the screen here in just a second. And it looks like Anna's getting ready with her microphone as well as our coaches are actually giving a little bit of advice to their teams and reviewing the previous round. So, hello, Anna. How's it going? How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I just watched a bunch of cool Warframe. What's going yeah. on with you? I have not watched any Warframe. I wish I was watching Warframe. I enjoyed playing it yesterday. Well, now you're going to commentate Warframe with me, so we'll That's be watching exciting. a lot of Warframe. I had a good time because I admittedly am not a very good shooter. Really? I, I generally stick to like my RTSs. Right. I've been liking, you know, some MOBA style hero brawlers. I like platformers. I like RPGs. But shooters have always been kind of like 
the last frontier that I have not conquered. Gotcha. And so playing Warframe yesterday, I like didn't want anyone to look because right. I didn't know I was so bad at it. But I mean, the community manager who was just here talking to you, so nice, coached me through the whole thing. I actually got a higher score than Sir Scoots. So uh, yeah, I'm calling you out. I'm, I'm calling right. you out. Getting called out. All right, I love it. Um, well, we are actually ready to start the next game, so let's go ahead and jump into the action right now. Um, now, I am certainly excited for the next round here. I think players are getting a hang of the game right now. We didn't see much of the use of some abilities there. I would love to see some more abilities used in this game. I think they're going to be super helpful here, and it looks like we are jumping into the game right now. Yeah, have you already mentioned those abilities, Kevin? Because they're really interesting, especially with the rhino suit. I thought one that was particularly indispensable was that, I think it's called rhino skin? Yeah, the iron skin, yes. Iron skin, right. Yeah, and that is the ability, like we said before, you were, were, once you fill up your energy bar enough to activate the second ability, you hit two on the keyboard, you will activate iron skin, and as Rebecca put it, it puts you into god mode. You right. become very, very resilient to damage. You can really just walk in on enemies and just start slicing and dashing them to pieces. Now, Absolutely. you mentioned before that you said you weren't very good at shooters. I like to pretend I'm good at shooters, yeah. but in all actuality, I'm quite bad at them. I love to play them, I love to play Warframe, but I'm definitely not the highest skilled uh, competitor. And Warframe is a game that you're pretty familiar with, right? You, you own it at home? That is correct, yeah. I play it uh, pretty frequently on my PS4. It is a super fun game. Um, and I love the fact that you can get paired with people from all across the world just by jumping into missions. Absolutely. I love that, that community aspect of every game. And as we can see, we do have a live update of the scores. And Linda's team, Team Mecca, is out to a dominating lead right now. As she has 85 kills right there. Um, now, that was from the previous round. We will update those as every match continues so you can see the cumulative score. But a huge advantage right now. Team Scoots actually in last. Wow, really? And he has won the two previous challenges. So that is a big flip. Of course, he would say, well, you've got to let some other people win at right, some point. Right, right, obviously. Right. Um, so I know that with this particular map, the challenge is that you need to de be defending your, I think it's a cryopod, your yes. pod in the middle. The most important thing is to make sure that that does not get killed and that you're killing all of the enemies who are coming at you from all sides. That's right. If that, uh, if, the, if that pod were actually to be destroyed, that would end the mission, that would end the waves. You can't pick up any more kills after that. I've got to say, though, I'm super happy that it's Team Zeradactyls and Team Mecha that are actually leading this up to this point so far, just due to the fact that I know that they've had some struggles in some of their earlier performances, and this will be a big boost for their team. It looks like Team Zeradactyls generally taking the approach of entering each of those hallways that are outside, kind of the, the prongs of the wheel, as opposed to staying in the middle and kind of using either your pod for cover or just circling and trying to shoot enemies as they actually arrive at the, the center. Right, and that's not a bad idea because occasionally when you're on those outer spokes, you can actually kind of look down um, the, the stairways that lead into those sections and you'll suddenly see like five or six enemies that'll spawn and you have a chance to take all of them out before anyone else can even touch them. Ah, before they can even get close. Right. So, looks like uh, we do have our member from Team Mecha right there. And he is in the lead, as we mentioned before, scored 85 kills in the first round. That is almost two and a half times the amount that uh, Skur Scoot's team member got. Look at that look of intensity. He is not messing around. No, not at all. I love the parkour action, just so I can yell parkour every once in a while. Um, <laughs> this game really is built on that. Oh, sick move right there. This guy has played Warframe before, I have to say. <laughs> he just used his charge ability to run up and just instantly kill two Grenier soldiers there. So great map movement, great awareness. I think we have a seasoned Warframe player in the house. <laughs> I really love that about Warframe, that you've got almost the kind of, you know, Diablo or MOBA style abilities that you can hit to give you that extra boost if you're just under duress and you don't know what to do next. My favorite, of course, is that ultimate that goes out in all directions, oh, yeah. just kills all the enemies around you if you can build up enough energy to kick that one. Yeah, and the loot system is really cool in this game, too. As you've noticed, all enemies are dropping these little globes or pickups, right. and those are a number of things. Some of them? energy to help build that bar in the bottom right hand corner and activate those abilities. Some of them are ammo. Some of them are crafting components that you can use in the game to build yourself better weapons and armor. And sometimes you'll even find in-game upgrades directly on the ground. You can pick them up and it gives you a boost through the rest of the round. We all love loot, let me tell you. 
All right. Oh, did I see a little melee action there? Yeah. Another very cool feature. You can hit that quick melee button to give yourself a slice with that katana. Is it a katana? All right. Well, I want to see him. I, I, I need to see someone just like if they think they're too far behind, I just want to see them parkour over the entire map and just like <laughs> start running to each of these spawn points and knocking them out one after another. A very, very good move here by Siren's team. As we mentioned before, you see those spokes out there and occasionally you can catch right. five or six guys before they even start making their way into the middle. I see that, that they are using the, the pistol here as opposed to the rifle. Whether that's because they ran out of rifle ammunition or because they're choosing the pistol, I know the pistol can be a little bit more accurate, but of course takes more time to get each shot off individually. It is, but it is very high damage as well. So right. if you're able to land a pistol shot and it's not just in their foot or something like that, it's probably going to be a kill. So it's very effective if you have that sort of control. And as you saw right there, the... Uh, uh, the paint player did use that ultimate ability and actually knocked out about seven enemies around him. Right. That was one of the biggest items I got in coaching yesterday was, you know, when you're ready, wait in the middle until they close in on you and then just stamp that ability yep. out and take down an entire wave. Absolutely. So Team Trolls there with a big move at the end to try and sneak up some kills. We'll see if that's going to be enough. Looks like our competitors are all finished. We're going to shuffle up the teams, and we're going to play know, one more round okay. here in a second. I'm really excited to watch. I, I love, like you said, kind of the community aspect of this game. That's I can bring my friends in, and, and yeah. as uh, as we were being explained, people can help kind of taxi me to different objectives. They can help give me cover as I'm trying to beat, you know, a certain round of enemies, things like that. And I personally, that's one of the things I love most about gaming, is gaming with my friends. Absolutely, and the game offers a lot of customization. Once you find that core group of friends that you really want to play with, you can cooperatively start to upgrade things ready. that benefit Fit everyone that's in your group. Console. There's a lot of really cool late game options too to craft your own materials and help each other out that way too. So um, yeah, I have to agree with you. It was so fun for me the first time I played it. I was going through the tutorial and I'm like, okay, starting to get a hang of things. This is pretty fun. And it gets me into this level and boom, three people are there next to me. And I'm cool. still in the tutorial and I'm like, okay, <laughs> that's just my AI friends. No big deal. We'll go kill some things. No, they were real life players yeah. playing the tutorial as well. So very right from cool. the very beginning, you're integrated into this cool, almost MMO sort of space. Very cool. And that free to play model allows you to not only find and loot and bring upgrades, but also to purchase things like cosmetics and stuff like that, which is really fun for those of us who get into the gaming experience to have those special customizable options. We were talking about hot pink rhino suits yesterday, right. things like that. So that's right. something that I'm always excited to look for. Yeah, and like the devs were talking about before, a lot of the emphasis um, for their model is on the cosmetic items. They are very much, uh, they don't want to have the perception like, oh, you have to pay us money to, to win at our game. No, everything is unlockable just by playing the game. They're not going to gain anything behind you that you have to pay for. So that's a very, very cool aspect of it as well. But if you're impatient like me and you just want a hot pink rhino suit, well, you, know, you can just buy one. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Um, you definitely could do that. And it looks like we are ready to jump into our next game right now. So let's go ahead and fire it up and let's see who has taken the lead here at the Warframe Elimination Challenge at the next level booth at PAX Prime. Let's see if Sir Scoots brought, brought back his mojo. He's gotta. If he loses at a shooter, his life's over. I mean, that's, that's pretty much it, if, right? It would be a shame to show his face again. <laughs> it's a third-person shooter, he is informing us, so it doesn't count, apparently. Apparently, All right, it really Scott. makes All difference. right. Um, okay, so as we can see here, is a member from Team Zeradactyls. Looks like he's camping out, waiting for those members to start creeping their way up. A very smart strategy. You can see these players are starting to get a hang of where the enemies spawn from and where they need to be positioned. Right. And you can also see something really interesting about the interface for this game is they want to keep it unobtrusive and if you're looking to find out what abilities you have available, those three, those four dots right underneath your site there show you which abilities you have ready to use and which one you just used previously. Which yep. is something that was nice for me as I'm frantically trying to make sure I'm aiming correctly and don't want to take my eyes off that center. And I've got to say, there has been a major shakeup in the standings here. Team Trolls was actually in third place. They picked up over 100 kills last match. Wow. Over 100 kills for Team Trolls there. And they are now back in the lead with a cumulative score of 163. Crystal is looking pretty proud, throwing up the first place finger over there. But cl followed very, very closely by Team Mecha with that that's, score of 142. That's absolutely right, and still a respectable 60 
kills in the last game, but that doesn't touch that 108 kills that we saw from Team Trolls. They must have found a strategy that's really working, so it's worth looking at Team Trolls and seeing what it is they're doing. Look at that! Perfect <laughs> positioning from Team Trolls right there. The pink warrior, the pink rhino, actually jumped out and snagged like 10 kills just for free. Very well done. Great awareness here by Team Trolls. Intelligently using that cover that's available. Yeah. So instead of standing out in the middle, waiting for people to come, not leaving the middle necessarily, but using the cover that's at the beginning of each of those spokes. And if I'm reading this the right way, I actually think that Team Trolls and Team Mecha are playing on the same side right now. So that means that Team Mecha needs to win this particular map by over 21 kills in order to secure a victory. Ah, wow, the meta game emerges. <laughs> there you have it. I keep waiting for someone to just walk over and kick the other player right now. Like, I'm waiting for these physical acts of violence. We haven't seen them yet, so. Yeah, we've got some pretty good sportsmanship. I think most of the trash talk is verbal, not, yes. not physical. Yes, that is absolutely right. It only gets physical in a couple of days, <laughs> uh, as we'll have people probably fighting each other in the streets. Um, so, as we can see, Scoots is uh, coaching his team member right there. He snags his way out and... Unfortunately, he hasn't been able to find too many kills yet. He's been sticking around the pod while the player that's right actually on his team right now has been a bit more active and running around on those ledges and spokes that you were talking about nice. before. Yeah. And I think it's benefited him to have that mobility. Do you, what do you think of that strategy, leaving one person behind to defend and one heading out kind of looking for the kills? Yeah, I mean, it seems like the, the top strategies I've seen so far are to position yourself and wait for some of those waves to come in get those four or five easy kills right away and then immediately run to the other side of the map because by that time the people that were coming from the other side will already have gotten in position and you can snag a few extra easy kills there that makes sense and it looks like actually they just had one kill left because you can see that red mini map right looks like they finally cleared that last one and are moving on to the next wave yeah, so the minimap is really intuitive and cool here. It's not going to tell you when there's 30 people coming because, well, that'd be a bit of cheating. You can right. just see where they're at and blast them all before they come. Okay. However, yes. if you're having a little bit of difficulty, you can't find that last guy on the map before the wave is cleared. It will pop up an indication after a while to let you know where they're at. And these guys are not unintelligent spawning minions. They're hiding behind cover. They're keeping away from you. I was surprised to find my last one kind of huddled behind and hiding in a, an area I hadn't even looked in before. Yeah. So that's kind of fun. You know, you don't feel like you're just playing a computer. You feel like you're playing a, a more intelligent opponent. Yeah, I'm no, the, the, the AI has been very smart in this game so far. And you're right, it makes for a more engaging experience because it, it feels like you're playing against other players, not necessarily just little AI opponents. Seeing Team Zerodactyls make use of that melee again, I love the way that that looks. Oh, yeah. It's Honestly, it's the most fun for me. Like. Yeah, the guns are cool. Yeah, even the powers are cool. They're really awesome. They have huge effects and they can do tons of kills. There's nothing more satisfying than parkouring up a wall and just slashing your enemy down. <laughs> I got so close to you, you stand no chance. <laughs> All right, so our waves are just finishing up. It looks like Team Mecha, Team Trolls finished up. We're just waiting on Team Scoots, Whoa. Team Zeradactyls right now. And uh, Team Zeradactyls is snagging quite a few kills. I've actually watched the player is very active on the map right now, and they're only behind by 26 kills. So if he can grab a big yeah. advantage here, it may sneak him back into this match. Yeah, we see a pretty close score for both, for all Team Trolls, Team Mecha, and Team Zeradactyls. Not much would be, would be necessary to kind of close those gaps. Although right. we see Team Scoots, kind of lagging behind right now. What do you think it's going to take for him to really close that gap? You know, uh, I honestly think the biggest thing that's going to close the gap is what happened on the other side. I know that sounds really uh, weird, but the other team had the number one and number two players in the game. you got to think that they're going to battle themselves to almost a draw. So if that's the case, that's what you need to be able to close that gap. Just do better than the person on your team. I see. All right. So All right. Like we're going to get the count here pretty soon. What were some of the, the most magical moments of that match that you remember, Kevin? Oh, I have got to admit, I was pretty <laughs> yeah. bored by the performance Sorry, of Team won. Trolls. Wait. Like, oh, yeah? it was yeah, yeah, yeah. crazy the way that they were using the map, the way that they were running around. Like, I, I thought, wow, we have the number one and number two players uh, against each other right now. This is going to be super close. But it really did look like a Team Trolls member came out super strong, dominated the map, took forcibly the control points so that way uh, the te his teammate couldn't actually come up and do anything. So, well, very team, smart play. Team Trolls being led by Crystal, she said that shooters are really her forte. So she's pitting herself against Scoots and saying, you know what, you may have experience in these first-person esports shooters, but I've also been playing shooters for quite some time. And not only have I been playing, but I've been a coach. So 
I, I could foresee that Crystal's been really, really making sure to know the strategies and coach her player to make sure that her coaching skills are really shown off. Yeah, I mean, they definitely showed there, I have to say. So, um, you know, I've got to say, though, um, I was really impressed by Team Zerodactyl's performance and especially the last map. There was not just really good movement around the map, but there was also a lot of stealing of kills, I noticed. Ah. As soon as her Scoots' um, teammate would get in position, you'd see Team Zerodactyl swoop in that sounds awesome, by the way, a Zeradactyl swooping. Swoop. Yeah, well sure. done. We better see one that of those. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> so the Zeradactyl swooped in and stole right, all the kills. Right. Yeah. Steve, uh, you're going to have to make a Zeradactyl sound for us later because mine was lacking. Yes. You there we go. There, there we go. Yeah, We're going to get that on good. camera in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. So we are actually tabulating the scores right now. Just to recap for you folks, though, Warframe is out right now for PC and PS4. It is coming to the Xbox One on Tuesday, and you will be able to download it then. So if you like what you've seen, um, I certainly have a bunch of fun playing it. Join us online and download it on Tuesday for the Xbox One. I really appreciate that it's available on all of those platforms because I think shooters for me on PC are a lot more intuitive just because that's where I spent most of my time. But I know a lot of people really prefer to play on console. So being available in both ways and being able to say, hey, I play on PC, you play on console, we still have something to talk about is a really nice change. Oh, geez. And you know what? What? We have a winner. Ooh, who is it? And our winner is... Team Trolls! Woo! Yeah! Yes. Team Trolls comes out yes. in the lead. Congratulations best, best to them. Right well done, Crystal. Frame. Thank you. And, you know, it's going to be a game after my heart. I love PC shooters, so thank you for winning. Thank you for beating your friend. We And we used to game together back in the day on Shoot Mania, so it's kind of cool to be out here and do this, you know? Play games in real life, not just behind our computer screens. So we are going to be winning today in our final. I know you don't have a microphone, but I'm just going to do all the talking for you. What was What, what, was, what made you win? What do you think? Kind of a pattern. Okay. Okay. So I, once, I, once I figured that out and I really locked it in, uh, I, I think it, it made it kind of easy. Uh, yeah. There we go. Oh, now there's a mic. Wonderful. <laughs> so yeah, I, I got, Start I got over. There. So there was a pattern of how the troops spawn, and kind of once you figure that out, it makes it, I wouldn't say easy, but you can kind of, you know, get a higher score by just spamming one area. Yeah. Uh, but what scared me is the red team, he started getting that pattern too. <laughs> I at the end, he got it at the end, but it's okay because as long as you beat Casey, we are good, and we got we got blue yeah. team out of it. They did not Casey. take three, so we are good. So we're gonna take it back to Anna and Kevin. Thank you guys. We won. All right, folks, we are back here, and uh, I did want to mention that 249 cumulative kills for Team Trolls there. Team Zerodactyl did come back strong with 227 landing in wow. second place. That's incredible. Very close. Yeah. Oh, incredibly close. So, folks, we are going to run to a quick commercial break, and when we get back, we are going to have another Leo's Fortune Floor Challenge, and we'll be back into our fourth and final elimination challenge right after that.